Uh, hey guys, Dark Derek here again with the uh, round six battle of the Kilonachos Monaco attorney. I'm up against Pokey, uh, one, two, or one, three, two, I don't even know his name. And he's using green, I'm using purple. He leads with Flygon, he's in a U turn out of my Crobat, and he goes to T Tar. I'm gonna use Super Fang here, and, uh, nice, it's, al it's always nice to chip off half of T Tar's health, because T Tar's always kind of annoying to take out unless you hit him with a random fighting move or something. Anyways, yes, a lot of vendor turn effects in this game, just just to let you know ahead of time. So I'm going to go to Gastrodon, because I know standard Tyranitar can't touch any Gastrodon with any of his moves. And he's going to go for Protect, which is a very strange move in Tyranitar. I've never seen that move on him before, but no, there you go. I'm going to go for Earthquake now, as he goes to Politoed, predicting like a Waterfall of Surf. I don't know really know why he did that, though, because Earthquake would have done more than either of them to Tyranitar, so... I don't know what he's thinking there, but whatever. Anyways, I'm going to go to Crobat here, predicting a Toxic, but he goes for Hypnosis, and, um... Of course he has with it, why wouldn't he? Uh, but, you know, uh, whatever. He, he could have used Ice Beam, which would have been, actually... Yeah, that would have been pretty bad. So now I'm going to go to Muck, which, uh... Because I know that, uh, Politoed really can't do anything to Muck, or at least I think he can. Wow, end of turn effects sure are fun. Uh, he's going to go to Tyranitar now. I went for Poison Jab just to get some damage on the Politoed, but, you know, he went to Tyranitar, whatever. I got a Poison, which doesn't matter at all, because I have, a, like, a perfect counter to Tyranitar. More end of turn effects. I'm going to switch out, go to Gastrodon. He sets up his rocks. Ugh, I hate end of turn effects. So I don't like y uh, using or facing Sandstorm teams. They take way too long. He's going to go to Celebi now, which is... And I use Ice Beam predicting a switch back to Flygon. And, um, it actually does a lot to Celebi. That does... I have, like, almost no special attack investment on this thing. And that does, a, like, a quarter of that thing's health, which is very nice. So now I'm gonna go to Muck. I don't know why. Because the Leech Seed was... I mean, I, I, I know that, uh, he resists Grass. But the Leech Seed was a little obvious. I, uh, that wasn't... That wasn't very smart. Um, I don't understand why Muck doesn't have Liquid Ooze. It's much better than Stench, which is a ter terrible ability. And with Liquid Ooze, he could have sucked up Poison there, which would have helped. But... You know, whatever. So anyways, I stay in and use Brick Break, predicting to switch to Tyranitar, but of course he decides to stay in and go for Psychic, which completely destroys Muck. And I thought Muck, with his amazing HP and pretty good special defense, would have taken that a little better, but, you know, of course not. Thank you, Muck. No wonder you're NU or whatever. Or UU. So now I'm gonna go to for Shadow Sneak. I know Muck is dead. Uh, just to get, you know, one last little bit of damage on it. And Muck dying right there, me sacrificing Muck there change the outcome of the game, probably. Uh, I'm not gonna spoil too much, but I... It, Muck would've been really helpful later on. Now I'm gonna go to Gengar, because I know if that if he stays in, I can kill him. Or, I, I know it's safety substitute, because if he stays in and breaks it, I can kill him. And if he switches, I have a free substitute. He goes to Tyranitar, who's gonna get completely destroyed by Focus Blast. That almost... That probably almost would've killed him if he was at full health, so... Obviously, he's gonna die at half. So now he's going to go Cradily. Uh, he goes for Protect here. Another very strange move. I don't know. I guess this guy really likes Protect. I've never seen Protect on Cradily before. Go for Hypnosis, and thank God that move missed, because if that hit, hit, I couldn't have, uh, toxic that Cradily, but, uh, I, I don't know why I even used it. So anyways, he's, uh, you know, doing all this protecting stuff. He goes for Toxic and he misses, which is very nice, because that means that my main wall can't get poisoned. And now I get to Toxic his Cradily, which means that that Cradily is no longer threatening. I'm gonna go to Crobat here, predicting a Toxic, but of course he goes for Rock Slide. Honestly speaking, unless he predicted that switch to Crobat, I don't know why you'd use Rock Slide there, because obviously you're not gonna touch Gastrodon. Maybe he, he could've just predicted the switch, though. Now I'm gonna keep Crobat alive. I know he's gonna die as soon as the switch to Stealth Rocks, but I'm keep him alive, because I know that if, as long as he, he stays alive and asleep, he can't put any of my Pokemon to sleep. So, abusing Sleep Claws is, uh, nice. I like abusing it. So I'm going to Starmie, because I thought Starmie could take an unboosted Rock Slide from a Cradoey who has, like, base 80 attack. A little better than that, but apparently it'll chip off half his health, because Starmie has failed. And, of course, I was so close to clicking Ice Beam, but I didn't want him killing me against a Cradoey, so I went for Recover. And that was a very big mistake, because now he's going to go to Sceptile. And I know, yeah, switching Crobat here like an idiot. And I know that now that my two Poison types are gone, I have nothing to beat the Sceptile. The Sceptile is quicker than everything on my team, and it has Leaf Storm, which kills my entire team. I probably should have brought more poison types. I, even Weezing could have taken this thing down, but I didn't feel like bringing a Weezing. I don't know why. Because apparently, when, as soon as I saw Grass, I just immediately assumed all Rock types, which is stupid. So as soon as I, say, as soon as I see Sceptile, I know I'm going to lose. There's no way I'm going to beat that Sceptile. 
Unless he's like really stupid and he switches in and uh, switches in and on an ice beam or something, which he's not going to do. That was awful. I was so close to hitting Ice Beam there. If I hit Ice Beam there, that would have probably killed the Sceptile, and there goes all my problems right there. And even if it didn't, Sandstorm and Life Orb Recoil would have chipped him away pretty quickly. <sighs> it's a real shame. But, uh, yeah, in case it's not obvious enough, I've I, I've lost this battle. There's no way I'm going to beat that Sceptile. Uh, which, you know, it's a shame. I, I was really hoping I could win this tournament. But, uh, you know, honestly speaking, I thought I would, like, lose pretty early on. Because, I mean, I, I thought I was uh, going to be up against a lot of, uh... Well, I was like, up against a lot of decent players. Then I go up against some, like, really good players, and I get just get, like, my, my face smashed in. But, um, I actually made it pretty far. I got to the top eight, and I, I would have been happy. I I told myself I'll, I'll be happy if I make it to the top 32, and I made it to the top eight. So I did, um... I think that's four times better than I thought I was going to do. I don't know. I don't feel like doing math right now. Yeah, I think it's four times better. And, um... Of course, he's going to go to Celebi here, probably out of spite, because he knows I can't win, and he knows that I can't damage the Celebi. What an asshole. Just kidding, man. It was it was a really nice battle. Uh, you got a good team. I didn't play very intelligently, but, you know, what are you going to do? Sometimes that happens. Um, are you Stonehenge here? There's absolutely nothing to that Celebi. He must be running max defense on that thing. I guess. Maybe that's why Ice Beam did so, or did a decent amount. I hate Celebi. Things are annoying. And, uh, woohoo, more of these effects. They're so awesome. And, uh, oh. Yes, now I run, because I know I can't win, and I'd rather not sit here for three hours fighting that Celebi. Good game, man. A uh, real shame I lost the tournament, guys. I'm sorry, but, uh, you know, I'm human. What are you gonna expect? Uh, Dark Dark out.